Hello there. Today we will be working on pages 14 and 15 in our interactive science notebook. And on page 14 specifically, we're going to be working on um, creating averages, which is actually page 15. So on page 15, you're going to get this foldable or this notes page, and you're going to cut out each individual square on the dotted lines. There are three different squares that we will be working with. And they tell us the steps for how to calculate an average. This is very important in science because it really helps us to get an accurate count of what happened during an experiment. So, you're going to keep cutting out these individual boxes. And then you will tape or glue them into your notebook on page 15 in a specific format. So, we need to make sure that one, two, and three can fit together. So we want one towards the top, then a number two, and then followed by a number three. And you have some space either to the left or right of those numbers. We're going to tape them or glue them into our notebook carefully so that we can use them in the future. And then we're going to do a practice problem. So we're going to need a pencil or pen to write with. So we're going to use our tape first. I'm going to use just a little bit of rolled up tape and I will go back after and really fine tune, make sure everything's taped in there correctly when I have a little bit more time. So I can actually line them up one, two, three, all in a row and have my problem work to the side. Okay, so the first step of calculating an average is to find the sum of the measurements. And what do we think of when we think of the word sum? We think of addition. So we're going to circle that word sum and draw a little arrow and draw a nice big plus sign because it's the addition. We're going to add up the two, three, four, five trials we've done first. So off to the side, we'll do a problem. We're going to pretend that we have done an experiment where we were looking at the distance. So we're looking at distance traveled. And in trial one, we traveled 19 kilometers. In trial two, we traveled 16 kilometers. And in trial three, we traveled 17 kilometers. So we're gonna add it up. 19 plus 16 plus 17 equals 52. So we have our first step done, we have 52 kilometers. I need to make sure I also include measurements so I know what I'm using as a unit of measure. Then we're going to divide the sum by the number of measurements. Divide, our division symbol, we can add that in. So. My sum from step one was 52, and it was kilometers. I did, I had three trials, so I'm going to do three on the outside and 52 on the inside. 
3 goes into 5 one time. I subtract 3 from 5, bring down the 2. 3 goes into 22 seven times. So 17 remainder 1, but I actually need to add a 0 and annex the 0. 3 goes into 10 three times, which is a 9. And I'm going to have a repeating decimal. So 17.3 kilometers is what I got when I divided. 3 into 52. You can use calculators for this. You can do it by hand. Um, it's good to know both ways, especially when you think about your math skills coming into play at science. But most of the time when we're doing an average, we're doing it together as a class, or you will have a calculator. So the quotient or the answer is your average. So what I got here of 17.3 is my answer for step three. So I'm going to underline the word quotient, and I'm going to write the word answer. Quotient means answer in a division problem. So the average distance traveled is 17.3 kilometers. And we're going to write a little note to ourselves. Why do we use the average? I use the average to represent my data. It gives me a nice picture of what happened during those trials. And when we look at 17.3, it's a little bit bigger than our third trial. It's a lot, a little bit more bigger than our second trial and smaller than our first trial. And that's what an average does. It's gonna kind of give you the middle number between what you found. Because maybe I threw a paper plane too hard in the first trial, or I put too much force and it traveled a little too far, or a little too less in, travel, in trial two. So finding the average really gives us the best picture for what we need to find. We're gonna highlight a couple of things um, or underline them in a nice pretty color during class. But you are now done with page 15, so I will see you in the next video.